Now another thing that I've forgotten to talk about is short circuit. Let's say I have a component here. This is a resistor. Okay. Now to short circuit a resistor, what I do is I connect a wire from one terminal to another. So in this case, if the current comes in here, it will not bypass this resistor. It will come down here, come down here, come down here, and come down here. So in actual fact, what the resistor does is it just goes through like uh, what current does, it just goes through like that. The resistor here is really invisible to the current there. Okay, so what happens is that in a short circuit, let's say I have a cell, let's say I have two cells, each of them are like two volts, so in this case I will have a total of four volts. Okay, now let's say I have a circuit like this. Right, okay, now so if I have a switch here, I call this switch S1. Now, if I close the switch as one, that means my current will go from here to here to here to here to here. It will bypass whatever resistor there is here. All right. Now, in a short circuit, what happens is that there will be a great amount of current. Now, when current increases, now heat will increase. All right. So, if there's a heat loss, heat increase. So what happens is that a lot of times the insulation of the wire will melt. And then if it melts, and then chances are you can get electric shock or you can get a fire, right?